Hello, hello, welcome to fifth part of our Master Musa game. We are doing not bad. We are at 139th turn and we're doing just fine. We, we, we're leading the science game at least, and that's what's important right now. You see, I have no campuses. No, at all. None. But I am leading the science game among the civilizations that we've met so far. So that's the that chose something. If I had a, a, at least a couple of them, a couple of campuses, I would be just skyrocketing at science right now. Astronomy compels the so we will try to get a couple of campuses at least in following turns. I think that would be good for us. What were do what were we doing here? I think it was Taj Mahal, yes. Let's go back to repairing. So we have some good campus around here and this was a mistake by the way this holy site was a mistake I could have just put a holy site right here maybe and then uh, Suguba right here and this was a nice campus and I've ruined it, ruined it a little bit but it's okay we could just as long as your early game went okay you can make these little mistakes. Uh, this is mostly about the early game. If you got a nice early game, it is hard for you to lose the game. It's, 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 it's just as simple as that. What were we gonna do here? And uh, let's get the iron. I was gonna get a triangle here for farms, but I'm not sure where to get it. I think this looks good enough. We still have 15 turns of alliance with Japan, then we will go to war with him, against him, because Japan took Kahokia first and we didn't say much, did we? We just said, oh that's bad, and then he took Ayutthaya. And Ayutthaya is actually rebelling in six turns. That could be good. We might not even need to uh, declare war on him. You see, we, we, we are peaceful people. But Japan is taking advantage of it. He's a warmonger. And we show him that he cannot do that. That's not nice. What? Uh, why am I not buying settlers and sending them? Around. Nope. Do this. And we'll do this and make a little bit of this too. Nice. Get a water mill. And get a builder. What? No. 
and do this. I wanted Samarkand, right? Why did I want Samarkand though? Like this is nice. So yeah, let's take Samarkand. Let's build those. Can I build it on desert tiles though? That could be a very important question. Let's get this. We sent one right here, so one, two, three, four. Right here, maybe? Yeah, and this close, it closes it down. So we won't be able to settle any more cities down there, but we still have one right here. This is a nice, not a really nice, but an okay one. I'm just settling all over the place because you really need to settle, you really need to get used to settling after the mid game. It's really, really important. War is hell. Because it's limited. The, 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 the yields you can get from one city is really limited. So you would want to optimally. Settle around, settle new cities. I'll just start. I'll, I'll just start building campuses too. And we can actually make trading domes here, so that's pretty good. Because trading domes plus two gold, plus one gold for every adjacent luxury resource. Your outgoing international trade routes grant one plus one. <coughs> Sorry called per trading dome at the origin so we will just have ideally you would want to have a lot of trading domes in this city because we are a lot of trading routes going from that city let's one turn. I hope I'll get that tile. I hate when AI does this, by the way. This is so annoying. They always just pick the tile that I am. Kilwa is one of the most back. Uh, we have Granada now. No, I don't really. I think I need Granada. I can take Buenos Aires though. I, I, I could really use the humanity buff because if you're going to war, we will need the amenities because all of our cities get war we weariness from the war. So they get. Hmm. They get uh, less the amenities decrease if you're in a war with someone, with anyone. And when they get when they have low amenities, you have low pop. You and increase. I come by road or rail. And we have low gears all around. We could get Big Ben. Maybe. I think we are done with settlers, at least for now. So I could just use my faith for stock exchanges. No. For money. 
Not this one. I don't have enough faith. Okay. We get the rest soon enough. And the <laughs> absolute opposite of what I wanted past. So it will be harder. Our war against Japan is gonna be harder than it already was. That's not good news, but we could make it work, I, I believe. I believe in myself. Okay, let's get a holy site in this city. Maybe like here seems pretty good. See, plus five. Not all who wander. Two hundred and seventy science per turn with zero campuses. That's crazy. Let's get our second one. Or third one, I think. Uh, the uh, building campus. Ah, oh, we, we built the first one actually. Right here in Kumbi Sale. Let's get urbanization. And get holy side prayers in this city. I might get muskets, but it's not enough. Ironclad, I might be able to do that. I don't want Granada. Yeah, let's try to get this. Do I want, do I have it available? Ironclad, no, it's here. Maybe go directly for that two workshop two shipyards in like 20 or 30 turns our size will skyrocket and we have only one turn and this city will rule in three turns to so everything is going smoothly. What do I want in the city? Which city that was it my capital? I think it was. So getting all these side players is better, I think. Why is it better, by the way? Let's read this one. Maybe I'll... <laughs> Provides faith and plus 100% religious pressure every turn. So my faith is also science and culture because I have the Chorus. So generating more faith is mostly better and also my religion has partial dialogue so you would really want to get as much citizens as you can to this religion to generate more science per turn so it's win-win. What do you want to get here? You want to get a scuba, but we can't right now. Get this for one turn. Let's get down here. Let's get a farm here too. The 
three times. I should get ready to declare war on Japan. So let's buy some field cannons and let's build some walls. Let's get this guy here maybe and then upgrade him to musketman. Buy another one. Maybe not a field cannon, but a bombard. Let's get a field cannon and a bombard. And this city should repair its walls. Nice. I am technologically ahead of. Japan. Uh, he is only crossbowman, whereas I have field cannons. So it should be an easy one. But it's deity, so you never know. And he is a big, bigger, much bigger army than mine. So we'll not be cocky, but we will do our best to. Get those six states back, give them their independence back, and maybe get a couple of cities. Actually, I might get Fukuoka and Nagano from Japan. They should be freebies. Especially if I can get. What I like about cities is that everything is king size. Yeah, I can get and the research, but I don't think it's really good. <laughs> in this game so especially if you can get lights and we can in 11 turns it will be just an easy one I will uh, our alliance with Japan is just over and we can declare war we'll denounce him first and then we'll declare war on him but we, we have to wait for a couple of turns I'll end this fifth part right here where we'll declare war on Japan and get the independence of the city-states back. I think this game is going pretty well. We're ahead on culture, we're ahead on science, we're dominating this game and we'll want to do more. Japan cities are re rebelling already, but we'll just have some action and declare war on him. I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.